Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Stray. Now in today's video, we're going to be finding Clementine and Blazer, hopefully making our way to the subway station with the atomic battery we stole in the factory in yesterday's episode. Also, we're going to have another Stray story of the day, our random, pointless, and always fun stories in this playthrough. So I hope you'll stick around with us and see what happens in today's episode. Okay, so it seems like Blazer has reserved the VIP area and he might be up there with Clementine. So we got to figure out a way to get up there. It seems like uh, the bartender's not just going to let us walk up there for no reason. So we're going to start exploring this club and figuring out what kind of puzzles we got to solve to get through this. Nothing in this game just seems as simple as walk to where they tell us to go. There always seems to be something preventing us from getting there easily. Okay, so if we come up here, can we... Okay, that's the first clue. We're missing a switch. Not sure what the switch is going to do, but we're missing one. <laughs> Let's get the party started. This first song has been requested by our very questionable blazer. Looks like there's a way to move the turntable as the cat, but it's not letting us. Okay, so there's a switch on that side as well, but this side is missing the actual lever. The DJ doesn't seem to be too helpful. He just seems to be yelling things as we try and talk to him. Like, I want to destroy the dance floor and everybody put your hands up. Okay, so... We need to figure out where our missing lever is. Okay, we can take this strange drink. I'm not sure how that helps us, but we've found an item at least. We're one step closer to solving this puzzle. I like that they, the DJ even has a drink on the floor be, behind the DJ stand. So many details have gone into this game. Okay, so throwing that switch lowers the holographic dancer and we can use it like an elevator to get up here but there's a speaker in the way so we can't reach the other side which is what I'm guessing that uh, lever is going to help us do is get up on the other side of this Okay, I can't seem to do anything up here right now, so let's see if we can get down. Yeah, so we definitely need to find that lever to solve this puzzle, but all we have is a battery and a drink, which won't help us. I don't remember seeing any levers as we've been walking around the club, but I can't say I was looking for one at first. Try talking to some of the uh, companions here to see what they all have to say. This club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out, so I stole this lever just for kicks. If you give me a drink, I'll give you this lever. I don't need it. I don't want to get caught with it. Okay, so we can trade the drink for the missing lever. And that should allow us to get up on the other side of the DJ stand. Hopefully that'll let us sneak into the VIP area. Figuring out what's going on with Blazer and Clementine and why they decided to come here. I'm guessing they left the apartment because all the sentinels were on to them, though. OK, 
Okay, we have three buttons here. What do they do? Oh, they lower lights for us to jump on. But I can't reach that light, so maybe we need to press some more buttons, lower the lights in the right sequence. Okay, so when we lower certain lights, other lights raise. So I think we've lowered enough lights to make it across. Maybe not, maybe we need to lower one more and raise some of the ones we're not using. Ah, that looks better. I think we can make it through this outside track now. I almost wonder if there's multiple ways to solve that. Okay, not sure what that cutscene was all about. It was just Blazer walking away. What's happening? So Clementine is all tied up. Did we get double crossed by Blazer? Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. business is money and I value money may way more than friendship or camaraderie they're all yours uh, we got turned over to the sentinels and double crossed by blazer Did they shoot the cat All right, what happened here? Are we still alive? Okay, we're in a cat-shaped prison cell above the water. So we need to escape by rocking back and forth, I think. And while we work on escaping from this prison, let's get right into our stray story of the day. So in the past, I've explained many times that I lived in the mountains for a while, and I've told many stories about living out there. But I've never really explained how I came to live out in the mountains, so we're going to do that today. So I actually work as a chef by trade, and through high school and college, I worked apprenticing to become a chef. So when I got done school, um, I put my resume online and got a call from a hotel. Now this place looked like a beautiful castle in the mountains. We did the interview online and they told me because it's in a national park that it, basically the job comes with Staffacom. They give you an apartment. So cost of living is low and the money was good at the time. So I went for it. Now, of course, this was before really GPS was a big thing. So I had to print directions from MapQuest off. And I got a car, loaded as much of what I could that I owned into it, sold the rest, packed up my things, and drove across the country to go work in a new new area. It was a, a great experience when I was younger. And I basically spent about three years working and living in the mountains. It was a fun time when I was younger, uh, a lot of snow. If you really don't like winter, it's a tough life. It's kind of isolated, like you're kind of in the middle of nowhere, but there are other people, like there are friends. Um, but you can't really just go wandering off. There isn't a lot of like city or things to do. Like shopping isn't practical out there. You got to drive a long way to get anything. 
Uh, you can't go anywhere on your own because of the animals. Like, you don't want to run into a bear when you're by yourself. So, it's a tough way to live, but it was a fun thing to do when I was in my early 20s. And I definitely don't regret doing it. But that's going to be our stray story of the day. Uh, they're kind of just random pointless stories we tell when the, the game's a little quieter. Now, if you enjoy them, we do do one per episode, so you can go back and check out the stories we've done thus far in the series. And I hope you'll come back and see what we have in the next episode, because there'll be another story as always. All right, now, we've made our way through part of this jail. We're back in one of these stealth sections where we got to sneak past these sentinels a bit at a time. I'm not really sure how we're going to get out of here. I'm just waiting for that thing to come back this way and then we'll make a run for it. Oh, it's detecting us. So apparently using the meow button in a stealth section is a bad idea. Who would have known? Good thing there's a box to hide in. Yeah, so don't accidentally press the meow button when there's sentinels around. Whoa, this guy is glitched out. I don't know if that's going to make escaping him easier or tougher. Is he going to get stuck right there by the stairs? It's going to make going up the stairs a little difficult. Okay, there he goes. He's out of our way. Now we have another one up here. This one has a, a bit of a strange pattern to avoid. Okay, and this one down here is still freaking out. There we go. We found Clementine. Alright, well that's pretty obvious what we need to do. We need to sneak our way in and get that key to free Clementine. As always, just exploring around to make sure we don't miss anything. Wouldn't want to leave something behind in an area we're never going to come back to or miss a memory somewhere. I've probably already missed quite a few memories, just places I didn't go. Okay, this seems simple enough. At least there's no real sentinels in this area. Okay, that should free Clementine. I'm not sure how the two of us are getting out of here. I don't know where B12 is. I just realized we don't have B12 with us either. So that's going to be another problem altogether. Okay. This is kind of a bigger open area. Which way are we going? There's a few options here. That is a lot of security to hold B12. I don't know how we're going to get them out of there, but we're going to need to. He is kind of our partner in crime, so we definitely can't leave him behind. We have lasers, we have sentinels, and we have some sort of 
what seems like a laser walled prison cell. The music in this game is just so atmospheric. It works so well. I don't know who did the soundtrack for this game, but they did a brilliant job. Okay, so Operation Free B12. They just have to remind us how dangerous this is going to be with that cutscene. How are we getting past this laser? Okay, it looks like we're getting away from it from above. Obstacle number one handled. Okay, now the lasers are moving. That's more dangerous and we have sentinels as well. Okay, this is getting even more challenging by the second. B12 better be very grateful when we get him out of this. <laughs> I always find the cat hiding in the box so amusing. Okay, so now we have two moving lasers at different heights. One going up and down and one going back and forth. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Again, these stealth sections are almost like solving puzzles at times more of like figuring things out and taking your time than it is like really trying to sneak places I guess it's because like the amount of noise you're making isn't as much of a factor as long as you don't press the meow button apparently all right I think it's safe I always want to like check out their patterns and when to run before I do it. Okay, so the walls to the prison cell are down. But now we have a ton of sentinels on high alert guarding B12. So we got to figure out how to get past them and make it to him. Guarding the door pretty tight, but we can get around that. Okay, I think we're in a pretty safe spot. Okay, over here is a little tight. We gotta watch these patterns and see when it's gonna be safe to jump up there and grab him. So the one in front of us is just spinning. And then there's one circling around. But hiding under here makes it safe. that thing gonna move there we go okay this seems like back the way we came so 
how did we enter here? And can we go back that way? Ah, there's Clementine. We made it. Alright, we're re-equipped. I feel like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again, all alone. But you came back for me, I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm so glad we're all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? We can now that we have B12 back. It feels like that was a check just to make sure we had B12 so we couldn't leave without them by accident. Okay, there's a switch in that room, so I think we're gonna have to sneak in there and throw the switch. How do we get in there though? Are we going to break a window using these bricks? That would for sure trigger the sentinels to know where we are. <laughs> it's a stealth section, right? They won't hear that. They can hear the cat meow, but they don't hear a window shattering at full volume. All right, we're getting pr through this pretty easily, actually. Puzzles here have not been too bad. Okay, so we need to trap a sentinel in a prison cell. Seems like that's a little easier said than done. Trying to figure out what our plan of attack is going to be here. So we get, we trigger them, we run in here. Then we close the door and I think we run out through the bars. I think we actually want to be in the cell when we close it. So if we try and close it from the outside, they'll just follow us out. Okay, I think we did it. Let's hope that that's the only time we have to do that. That's tough. Yeah, I wonder if it's possible to close the door from the outside once they're in there. If you get them far enough in that they won't follow you out. If they follow you out, they're gonna catch you for sure. This poor fellow. It seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. We're at 48% of the memories recovered. It looked like that was the last one is weird because I don't think we're at the end of the game. Maybe they just go in a different order somehow. Or maybe we've just missed most of them somehow. Okay, so we lead them in this way. We go out the other way through the bars. And then we loop around and close the door. Okay, that one's in there. But we gotta get the other one in there too. There's 
So let's see if we can get both of them at once. Okay, we have both of them chasing us. Oh wow, they're shooting at us. Come on, close before they get out of there. All right, I think we pulled that off. We did it. <laughs> that guy seems a little damaged. How are we getting through this one? Stay alert, we aren't in the clear yet. Okay, I think we gotta go around and open the door. It looked like there was a switch. Always these convenient little cat-operated levers for us. The door, it's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from the control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room through. Let's look around. Ah, oh, we have a vehicle. That's gonna be helpful if we can use it. Don't want to scratch at the tree. I'm thinking the vehicle's our best bet. Hop on the back. You should be able to jump over the fence to access that room. Okay, so that's the plan. And then I guess once we open the door, we can escape using the, the van. Seems like we're at the end of this prison segment anyway. Oh, we triggered an alarm. That's not good. Let's get out of here as quick as we can. Oh no, we have fully alarmed sentinels chasing us. We need to catch up with this van and get on the back before they catch us. Can we catch up to them? Nice, we did it. Okay, we're out in the city. The Sentinels are mad. There's no way we'll make it all the way with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. All right, we got the key, but I guess we're gonna lose Clementine. Go now, I'll keep you in my RAM, little outsider. And while that's gonna do it for today's episode, 
Thanks for watching and come see what happens in our next episode of Stray. Bye for now.